The new charges against Mikhail Khodorkovsky allege that he and his partners embezzled $25 billion from the oil firm he headed, Yukos, and related companies. If found guilty, the former oil tycoon could be sentenced to 22 years in jail, in addition to his current eight-year sentence. Khodorkovsky's lawyer, Vadim Klyuvgant, says his client rejects the latest new charges. As for the new accusation, he reacted to it over two years ago. He called it ludicrous and absurd, and this view will never change, because this view is the only correct one. Khodorkovsky was known for lending financial support to opposition groups critical of then-President Vladimir Putin. He was arrested at gunpoint on a Siberian airport runway in 2003. Two years later, he was sentenced to eight years in prison for tax evasion and fraud connected to his Yukos oil empire, once Russia's biggest oil producer. His parents, Marina and Boris Khodorkovsky, say the trials have turned their son into a folk hero. As funny as it may seem, they made a politician out of him. Before, he was much less interested in politics. He was more interested in business and production. But for all this time he's been in prison, his circumstances and public opinion have made him into a political figure. One difference between the old trial and the new one, Russia has a new president. Political analysts say Dmitry Medvedev, who is Vladimir Putin's protégé and successor, is viewed as more moderate. And Russia's liberals are asking him to pardon Khodorkovsky. Evgeny Volk heads the Moscow office of the Heritage Foundation. He says the outcome of the trial will show which direction the country is moving. Depending on what sentence he gets, whether it is a harsh or a mild one, we can see what forces are taken over in the Kremlin, whether these are the forces that are thirsty for blood and want tougher regime for the country, or whether these are the forces that are interested in a wider cooperation with public and are looking for a certain consensus in the times of economic crisis. After Khodorkovsky was sentenced, his company Yukos was broken up and its main assets were sold to a state-controlled company. Volk and others say this was widely seen as an effort to strengthen the Kremlin's grip on the strategic energy sector, while also punishing Khodorkovsky for his political ambitions. The trial is expected to last several months. Anya Daiva for VOA News, Moscow.